Welcome back to my YouTube channel, TBG Family. Make sure you subscribe to the channel down below where it says subscribe. I want to get into this video, man, about this member, man. He was from Chicago, born and raised, a young, a young, intelligent, young, intelligent boy. You know what I'm saying? He is intelligent. He was smart. All that, you know. He went by that name of 051, 051 Fathead. He passed away when he was 14 years old. You know, and a lot of people don't, you know, don't understand, man. Life is so short, bro. Like, life is so short, you know. You could be here today, and you could be gone tomorrow, you know. So, like, my condolences go out to his family. My condolences go out to his mom, his dad, his loved ones, his sisters, his relatives, you know what I'm saying? My condolences go out to his whole family, you know. But, like, you know, 051, 051 Fathead, you know, like, he was fucking with dudes who was in the streets. He was fucking with a lot of dudes who was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? He was fucking with a lot of niggas who was in the streets, a lot of niggas who did shit in the past. A lot of niggas in the past. He was fucking with a lot of niggas in the streets, a lot of niggas in the past that did shit to and their gang members, you know what I'm saying, and I didn't think, you know, like, shit, you know, I, I didn't think, he, I, uh, I didn't think, you know, he knew it was that serious, you know, like, you know, like, them niggas would, like, try to, re, you know, um, try to, mm, try to, um, you know, re, re, try to run up on you and, and get you, you know what I'm saying? For just being this this kicking with them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays you can't kick it with you can't kick it with a mo you can't kick it with nobody. <clears throat> you can't be in a video with a person throwing up gang signs. Cause then the people who got beef with him, they gonna think you is part of his gang and then they gonna wanna come and get you and him. You know what I'm saying? You know, life is so short, man, you know, but like he was only 14 years old, man. You know, he was good in basketball. He was good in football, you know. Sometimes, you know, like, I be wishing, like, when kids is young like that, I be wishing we, well, I be wishing our kids would just stay out the streets, stay out the streets and just stay in the books. Stay in the books and be street smart. Be, 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 be street smart and be school smart. But stay out the streets, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, you always good. keep your ears open to the streets, but, you know, stay in school and get an education and go down the right path instead of going down the wrong path. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, you know, like he was he had a, he lost a lot of family members due to gang violence. He lost a lot of relatives due to gang violence, you know, but it's rumors out there just saying, you know, he was from Young Money and uh 051, 051, that was his gang too, his rumors out there saying that, allegedly, you know, so, you know, shout out to Young Money, shout out to 051, you know what I'm saying, that was his gang, you know, shout out to all the gangs around the world, in Chicago, Detroit, Texas, New Orleans, everywhere, you know what I'm saying, you know, but a lot of people don't understand, man, gang banging is like, ain't what you want, man. Gang banging ain't what you want, you know what I'm saying? Gang bringing, gang banging bring two things: death or jail, death or jail. And like, <clears throat> you could be in jail for the rest of your life, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't cool. Or you could be in a grave, dead somewhere, you know what I'm saying? That shit is really fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure, you know, everybody got loved ones out there. They don't want to see you dead. They don't want to see you in jail, you know what I'm saying? But like. You know, like, man, rest in peace to all the Chicago legends that passed away in Chicago. Rest in peace to all the legends out there. You know what I'm saying? Who who basically brought the drill wave out there. You know what I'm saying? Because all them dudes, every, every member we talk about, everybody we talk about, they all Chicago legends in my eyes. Everybody's Chicago legends in my eyes. Chief Keith, everybody. Um... 051 fat head he 14 years old but he's a he's a legend of my eyes you know what i'm saying you know he's a legend of my eyes he was young when he passed away he died he was young he died to gun violence you know what i'm saying but that's fucked up you know what i'm saying 
my prayers go out to him, his family, his, you know, his loved ones, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people get into the gang life when they're young. And when you, a lot of people get into gang life when they're young, but they don't take it serious. Like, they don't take the street shit serious. They take it like it's a game or like it's not, it's like it's play play. Like, it's not real. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers take it like it's Grand Theft Auto, but really it's not no motherfucking Grand Theft Auto. It's really when a person run up on you with a gun and shooting you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, a lot of people got to think, you know, as us being black today, we got to pitch shit in, pitch shit in the right way. You know what I'm saying? Let's do different shit in the world. Let's don't kill each other. That's what the rich white man want us to do is to kill each other. Why we just can't love each other and spread love and spread peace? You know what I'm saying? I understand. I understand blood spilled on both sides. Blood spilled on the right side, the left side, the middle. Blood spilled around the world. I understand everybody lost. Family members, relatives to the gang banging, right? But, like, why we can't come together now? You know what I'm saying? We should be able to come together and be unified as one instead of killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Because all we is is killing our own people off. That's all we doing is killing our own people off. And we ain't getting nowhere with this shit, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just think about it. You know, 051, fathead. He was only 14 years old when he passed away. Like, man, he had a nigga, he had a hell of a life to live. He had a hell of a life to live, nigga. But, you know, his life got cut short. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to him. You know, his life got cut short. But that ain't cool. You feel me? Like, just think about it. Like, he could, he was, he was, he was probably somebody leader. And somebody probably was looking up to him. You know what I'm saying? Somebody probably was looking up to him. There's people out there look up to Chief Keep today. There's people out there look up to King Ron today. There's people out there look up to 50 Cent. There's people out there look up to all rappers. Let's stop looking up to rappers. Let's look up to ourselves. Because that's the only, that's the only person we need to look up to is two people ourself and God. We don't need to look up to no rapper, no, 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 no Facebook, no Instagram, no social media. Let's look up to ourself and let's stay prayed up and let's stay believing. Let's believe in, believe in God and put our, put all our, put all our, 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 our give, uh, tell God all our problems will be going through and he will heal us and he will take, take, you know, take your pain away. You know, a lot of people out here want to do the devil work and think it's cool to walk around with a gun sagging eight pants. That shit ain't cool, bro. That shit ain't cool. All you do is just putting a motherfucking target on your back, bro. Like, that's all you doing, putting a target on your back. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we got to be smarter. We got to be smarter. We got to be smarter. Like, y'all got to think about it. We got to be smarter. If y'all want to, how, how, how can y'all say, how can you say, how can motherfuckers do this? How can motherfuckers say, they don't want a white person to say call you a nigga, but we do it to we do it to each other. We call each other niggas and we walk around with our pants sagging. Man, get the fuck out of here. That shit ain't right, bro. If we don't want them to call a, a niggas us niggas, we shouldn't do it to each other. We shouldn't be walking around here sagging. We should be setting an example. We should be motherfucking walking around here setting an example for one of each other. We should love each other. Spread love instead of spreading hate. It's too much hate in the world. It's too much hate and it's too much jealousy and it's too much animosity in the world. We need to let all that shit go away and just start spreading love and peace. Love, peace. You know what I'm saying? And lift one of the person up. Like, you know, if a person feeling down, lift that person up. You know what I'm saying? Get that person a hug. You might make his day by giving him a hug. You don't know, you know, like, man, life is just too short, man. Life is too short, man. Like I said, man, kids need to stop listening to rap music today. You know what I'm saying? Because rap music ain't getting us nowhere in life. Nowhere in life. And I'm going to tell another thing. Kids need to stop playing that game, Grand Theft Auto, because that game, Grand Theft Auto, it look cool on TV. But when your ass get out there in the streets in real life, think you could do that? You get your ass smoked. You know what I'm saying? And then kids need to stop thinking social media could teach them something. Facebook can't teach you nothing. Instagram can't teach your ass nothing. Um, YouTube can't teach you shit. But they do be having some shit on YouTube. Like, you know, like, 
you know, stories like you can read the Bible on YouTube. They be having shit on YouTube, like some documentaries, you know, based on God, you know, you could, you could get on YouTube and learn something, you know. But Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, nigga, that shit ain't gonna teach you shit. Nigga, TikTok ain't gonna teach you a motherfucking thing, you know. But like I said, man, rest in peace to everybody who passed away in 2019, 2018, 2017, 2014, 2013. Rest in peace to everybody who passed away and lost their life, man. You know what I'm saying? My prayers go out to everybody in the world, man. I wish I could bring everybody back today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if, if 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 God brought everybody back, right, would it still be the same? Would motherfuckers still want to kill each other or would motherfuckers want to do shit different? You know what I'm saying? You ask yourself that, you know? But, like, rest in peace, man, to 051, fathead. Rest in peace to him. He was only 14 years old when he died, man. Rest in peace to that young dude. You know what I'm saying? Young dude, he passed away. A Chicago legend, though. He is Chicago legend in my eyes. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel down below, TBG Family.